All right, our next source of keyword research is Bing Ads itself. So uh, once you log into your Bing Ads account, all you have to do is go to Tools and the Keyword Planner. So if you watched my video on how to use the Google AdWords Keyword Planner, this is gonna look very familiar. And mostly what I use it for is go, going here to find new keywords, click on that, and let's look at the same examples that we used in the previous one. Number one, you can put in your landing page here, um, and it will give you suggestions based on the stuff that it can find on your, on your web page, so that's pretty cool. Same kind of ideas, uh, they like I said, <laughs> Bing is AdWords' little brother. They, they want to be like AdWords, so pretty much any features that AdWords does, eventually Bing implements as well, and, it, and they try to model the exact same look. Hey, good business. They are, they're modeling something that works really, really well. So uh, let's look at suggestions. Sorry about that. I had a big cough. I'm still sick. Um, yeah, so same thing that we went through with Google AdWords. You can see trends here. Um, you can see search volume. You can, uh, so yeah, you can search by average monthly searches. Here they have the same thing. They have ad group suggestions and keyword suggestions. And you can tell already that you can, you can see that Bing is less expensive than AdWords in general, the averages. Um, if you remember in the beach towel category, our suggested bids were more like um, on uh, a lot of them. Well, I guess they're about the same hand towel. Yeah. So uh, the bids are a little less. A lot of the bids were about a dollar fifty ish. Um, these ones are on average about fifty cents cheaper. And again, same thing applies to. Uh, the Bing Ads Keyword Planner as the AdWords one. This doesn't mean you have to pay 90 cent, 98 cents for every click. More likely, you could pay some somewhere in between, um, you know, 20 to 60 cents easy and still be in, you know, one of the top positions, get plenty of traffic. Another thing you can notice here is just the numbers are lower. Um, this is why AdWords is probably the best place to start because they just have... They have more data, more traffic, and this, like I said, the same people are going to search for the same things on Bing, but the Bing keyword tool just doesn't have access to as much. So I would still go with AdWords tool to, to get your keywords for Bing, but it's good inside of Bing to know like this is what really is happening on Bing. So these are like more accurate prices to Bing, and these are more accurate volume to Bing. So you know that when you're searching inside of Bing, um, it's just more accurate. And this is weird. This must be because it's lumping in towel, but beach towel specifically, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why the trend would go up and up to the top in November. Um, same thing here. You can go look for individual keyword suggestions if you don't want to do the ad group thing. And you can, like, uh, for example, you can search for average monthly searches. And, you know, bedroom sets, 40,000, shark vacuum, not sure why that's in there. Okay, vacuums apparently are frankincense. I, I, it's pulling in some weird ones. Um, this is why, again, AdWords is, is their keyword tool is definitely better. But uh, let's look for a, uh, a different, a bigger niche. Um, let's say candy bars. Not as big as I thought. <laughs> um, candy bar. Let's see, what, what was the trend here? Oh, yeah, big in January, big in February. <laughs> the most... Uh, depressing month of the year statistically. Uh, pretty low in summer. I guess it's too hot to be eating chocolate. 
and then takes a big, oh yeah, Halloween. That's so cool. It's so cool to see human behavior just like mapped out on a chart, you know? Um, don't know why, but for some reason when it starts getting cold, we start feeling like chocolate and candy. And then here, bulk candy bar, you know, th this is when obviously the most people, at least in the United States, buy um, candy bars because they're buying them from Hallow for Halloween and they sell big bags of them. Goes a little bit down, goes up for Christmas, you know, going home, hanging out with the family, eating lots of treats, giving away gifts that have candy bars. It's just uh, it's so amazing to me. I love watching stuff like this. Um, yeah, still still see estimates here, still see suggested bids. Once again, don't believe the estimated bids. Mm -hmm. You can, uh, you know, definitely get lower lower bids than what they're saying. But the other cool thing here in Bing is you can see some really low bids, and that's that's probably accurate. You can probably get 11 cent clicks on this keyword, you know, candy bar wholesale. Um, if that's your niche, then that's awesome. Now there's only 70 people searching, you know, that's not so awesome, but um, this is, none of these, none of these numbers are exact. They're just estimates and competition. Once again, don't really need to pay attention to that. Um, let's go to see if we can find something that's like expensive. Divorce lawyers. Yeah. Okay. So. Once again, the same, the same concept is reflected here as in the AdWords Keyword Planner. Um, the suggested bids for clicks on divorce attorney. Um, well, let's look at the trend on that for a second. <laughs> hmm. Big in February and April. Interesting. Depressing, maybe? The most depressing month of the year, or maybe it's like Valentine's Day, right? It's tension and I don't know hmm. it's all just guesses January pretty high New Year's <laughs> need a new start uh, sorry I probably shouldn't be laughing that's probably a very personal and painful matter for a lot of people uh, but once again you know peel away all the emotion and here's just human behavior as it is um, April really high I guess it's maybe beginning of summer Okay, sorry about that little uh, tangent. So, divorce attorney, the suggested uh, bids here are six ninety nine, five ninety three, just a lot higher than what we were looking at with candy bars. Um, let's look at something like a, let's look at weight loss. That's like a big information marketing niche. A lot of different keywords. Okay, so this is this is a really good example for the ad group suggestions, right? So when you put in weight loss, it gives you a lot of related ad groups, and some of them may be more or less relevant to what you're selling. So lose belly fat. Maybe you have a program or a book or whatever that's about lose belly fat, and that's really relevant. But um, uh, surgery after weight loss, not relevant to you at all. So you might you know, just ignore this ad group and they, they put them in by relevant. So let's go lose belly fat right here. Let's actually first off. Hmm. The trends are not as revelatory as I thought. Well, well, let's, let's try this though. Let's try lose belly fat. Okay. So this is even, this is, these are even better ad groups. If you're, if you're specific, uh, s need that you're serving to a an audience is lose belly fat. If you put that in as the search term, you get even a more uh, tightly defined bunch of ad group suggestions. So that's really good. Um, lose belly fat fast. These and these are just what people search for, and these are how Bing thinks they could be grouped together. The biggest one here is lose belly fat, right? And it, it, right now it's searched by relevance, so. Mm -hmm. These are like probably, yeah, a little more expensive because they're a little more specific and people are probably closer to the buying uh, part of the, of the um, uh, you know, attention funnel or sales funnel. Uh, best way to lose belly fat. Okay. Anyways, let's, let's dig into one of these. 
Lose belly fat fast. Okay, so 36,000 searches a month. Wait a second. Okay, uh, yeah, the trends aren't super obvious, but it is obvious that January is the biggest month. Everybody knows that. That's when everybody like goes to the gym and stuff. Surprisingly, low in February, I guess they give up. Um, and then big in March again, maybe because of the summer. Nobody, <laughs> Nobody's trying to get fit or lose weight during the holidays, and at least in the United States here. So, all right. Lose belly fat fast. The, this is, so this would be the broad match term, you know? This would be like anything that's kind of loosely related to it gets lumped in here. And unfortunately, these numbers are, are not very good. Um, I, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't believe this. Um, I'm guessing those numbers are a little uh, not that accurate. So I'm guessing a way more than 20 people on Bing search for fast lose belly fat a month. But these are averages. I, I don't really know how to, they get their numbers exactly. Um, suggested bit of a dollar. So remember, that probably means we can get it for, you know, a third to a half of that. So somewhere between 30 to 50 cents-ish, you'll still get good clicks and good volume, good piece of the pie. Uh, let's look at some other ones. So these are sorted by relevance. If we look at just pure volume, let's go average monthly monthly searches, um, lose belly fat, lose belly fat. These are probably broad match terms, lose belly fat quickly. That's still probably a broad match term. Maybe that's an exact match. If you were to take this and put it in exact match, maybe 50,000 people a month are searching for it, which is pretty awesome. And then over here, it's only 50, it's suggesting 58 cents. So they're suggesting high, just like Google does. Uh, so you can probably get clicks for anywhere from um, I don't know, on the low end, maybe 10 cents up to, up to this price, which honestly is still a pretty good, decent price up to 60 cents. You know, maybe you don't start getting traffic until you get up into the 30 or 40 cents, maybe 50, but definitely this, these would be definitely promising keywords, especially, you know, if you have a, if you're building a list or if you have a product that's based around, um, fat loss. And again, the really great thing is they just give you more exact match and phrase match keywords to target. So um, all of these could be good exact or phrase match. And then maybe one lose belly fat as the broad match in your ad groups. Um, now, getting the keywords out is quite a lot more annoying than AdWords. I don't really have a trick to this yet. Uh, all I know how to do is click export and then it comes, it like downloads into a CSV, like a, a spreadsheet, which is a little annoying. I mean, it literally, it, it still only takes five or 10 seconds. And cause then you can just go into the spreadsheet, copy all those, key, you know, keywords and then paste them in. Um, so, well, since this is Bing, I'll, I'll show you where you would paste them in. So let's say, you, uh, let's say you click, you know, you want all these keywords and you export them. Oh, Bing ads editor, even worse. Okay. Uh, well, let's see what this does. Click export. All right, you're gonna save it to wherever on your computer. Now you're gonna open it in Excel or whatever you're using. You can use OpenOffice if you don't have Excel um, or Google Sheets. And okay, so here are all the keywords and all the data gets exported as well, the, the bids and stuff. So what I would do is just go down the list, copy all of these and then go back into Bing. Uh, we don't have a campaign here for this, but it doesn't matter. These are just kind of like, I'm not actually running traffic through these. I just want to use them to show you, you guys uh, how this all works. So let's say you're creating an ad group and you want to go lose belly weight fast and blah, blah, blah. You create your ad there. And then here's where you put in the keywords. Now, 
let's go back and use the tool that I do have a separate video about it somewhere in here. Um, but let's go back to this tool, Keyword Mixer. It's free. It's at keywordmixer.com. It's awesome. And let's just paste those in. I have a feeling some of them are going to kick out an error because they have some weird characters in there. But let's just see what, see what happens. Let's go quotes and brackets. So this is going to give us phrase match and exact match. Click combine. We've got a nice little list here. Um, so if you were to simply copy and paste these in here, these are all going to be broad match. So if you click, you know, if you go through and say yes to all these, they're all going to be broad match. So they're going to get, they're just going to be really broad and hard to control, but they're going to have the most, you know, volume and stuff. Uh, but we don't like doing that. We want to have control. So we go here and copy the phrase and exact match and paste them in here. So now you can see that all the phrase matches are at the top <clears throat> with the quotes around them. So this would show for uh, lose belly fat naturally book, lose belly fat naturally teacher, lose belly fat naturally while I'm at home. It would show for all those phrases or potentially show. And um, uh, and then these exact match, these are only going to show if people type exactly this into the search box and these are you know are most likely to be profitable um, most likely to have high click-through rates especially if you design ads and ad groups specifically around them um, as you go and you get more data and results you can start pulling these out into their own ad groups we'll talk about that that's like a more advanced thing but to get started just to see where all the traffic is at um, especially if you're in a broad niche like this if you're in a very specific niche and you know what people are searching for, then you, you would modify this process to just hone in on a few keywords that you really want to target, maybe using AdWords or Bing's suggested ad groups. <clears throat> but yeah, com Keyword Combiner and Bing Ads uh, Keyword Planner, very useful. And they can get you going in Bing. Just using the Bing Planner, you can get a really good idea of, of what's going on in Bing and what's possible. If you use the AdWords and the Bing uh, keyword planners, you're going to have a very robust plan for your, your marketing strategy. So definitely awesome tools. And uh, hopefully this was useful. And thanks for watching.